Today we're learning the laws of exponents. And the first one is the product rule. In multiplying a to the power of m times a to the power of n, we simply keep the base a and add the exponents m and n. Let's try these five examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Simplify. Your answer should only contain positive exponents. Question number one. x squared times x to the fifth. According to the product rule, we simply keep the base x and add the exponents 2 and 5. So the answer is x to the power of 7. Question number 2. x squared y to the 4th times xy to the 6th power. For number 2, we have the variable x and the variable y. So we need to apply the product rule for each variable. Let's begin with the variable x. We have x squared and x, which means x to the first power. So that will be x to the power of 2 plus 1. For the variable y, we have y to the fourth and y to the sixth. So this will be y to the fourth plus 6. Simplifying this, this will be x to the power of 3 and y to the power of 10. So the answer for number 2 is x cubed y to the 10. Question number 3. b cubed times 2b to the second power. The first thing that we need to do here is multiply the numerical coefficients. The numerical coefficient of v cubed here is 1. v cubed is the same thing as 1v cubed, so the coefficient here of v cubed is 1. And for 2v squared, the numerical coefficient is 2. The first thing that we need to do is multiply the numerical coefficients 1 and 2, and that is 2. Now let's simplify v cubed times v square. And using the product rule, we keep the base v and add the powers 3 and 2. So the answer is 2v to the fifth power. Question number 4. 4x cubed times 3x square times 2x cubed. For question number 4, the first thing that we need to do is multiply the numerical coefficients 4 times 3 times 2, and that is 24. And now for the variable, we need to add the powers 3, 2, and 3, and that is 8. So the answer is 24 x to the power of 8. Question number 5, 3y x squared times 4x to the 4th y square z square. The first thing that we need to do is multiply the numerical coefficients 3 times 4, and that is 12. And now we have three different variables. We have x, y, and z. Let's begin first with the variable x. The exponents of x are square and 4. Let's begin with the variable x. The exponents of x are square and x to the fourth. So that will be x squared plus 4. Let's continue with the variable y. We have y to the first and we have y squared. So that is adding the powers, we have 1 and 2. And lastly, we have the z squared. Now let's simplify the exponents. So we will have 12 x to the power of 2 plus 4, that's 6 and y to the power of 3, and z to the power of 2. So the answer for number 5 is 12x to the 6, y cubed, z square. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.